hello everyone greetings for the day welcome back to my channel anushya sumaka being south indian what i prefer to feed my guests when it was an unplanned visit so let's go through quick simple and easy meal for the lunch when guests arrived just before lunch hour it's a habit for me of course most of us to feed them a good tasty and clean meal as it was unplanned visit i did not have any large stocks of vegetables when i was looking for vegetables in refrigerator i could find more of tomatoes so decided to make tomato pappu and tomato rasam and then majjiga charu for sides papad is must for pappu and am right yes i usually keep rice and dal together in pressure cooker in two separate bowls it helps in saving resources like time and fuel here while washing rice i am collecting the water that has been used to wash rice and dal i use it for plants later on that is a best and nutritious meal for plants to grow healthy sometimes i also ferment this water for one night before giving it to plants to increase the benefits of the same Once pressure cooker is loaded with rice and dal, I have placed it on the induction stove and started to prepare vegetables for pappu rasam and chaat. When rice and dal is getting cooked, parallelly started chopping vegetables like onions, chilies, and coriander. meanwhile power was down and i had to shift the pressure cooker from induction to gas stove i personally prefer induction stove over the gas stove for the time efficiency now it's time for tomatoes preparation i have cleaned them well under the running water Later, dip them in a vessel with water and add salt and tamarind. Then, kept it for boiling till the outer layer can be peeled easily. Meanwhile, garlic task: peeling, cleaning, and crushing the same in pestle. By then, pressure got released from the cooker. and dal is ready to be used for the tomato pappu parallelly to make majjiga charu add water to curd and make water consistency now put tadka for majjiga charu and add it to the buttermilk make sure to use onion and garlic to the tadka to enhance the taste Now one item from the menu is ready. By then tomatoes are boiled enough. I have allowed it to reach room temperature to remove the outer layer and use it for pappu and rasam. I have used the same pan that I have used it for the majjiga charu and put tadka for the tomato pappu. Once tadka is done, add boiled tomatoes and cook dal, and then allow it to cook till the thick consistency form. Later, add coriander, and second item will be ready. That is tomato pappu. 
Now it's time to make a tomato rasa. Pick a different pan. Start putting tadka ingredients along with the turmeric, pepper and jeera as well. Now add mashed tomatoes and tamarind water to it. At last add salt as per the taste and boil the rasam till it reaches the sizzling hot. Add coriander and then tomato rasam is also ready to serve. Now in the last make fresh crispy papads and serve with the meal. Serving a meal is like a therapy for few and I am one among them. I got to arrange my plate here. After serving lunch for everyone, it's time for me to have my lunch along side of chit chatting with them. The one who love Andhra meals, they obviously love ghee in it. So I am one among them. After having a tasty and simple meal, we opted with ice cream for dessert. Luckily, it was available at home. I would like to end this video here. Hope you like the same. Please drop your opinion in comment section. Thanks for watching till the end. Please consider subscribing to my channel Anusha Sukha. Let's catch up in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.